cents. If you do that and subtract one, that gives you 0.52, AKA 52%. And then finally to calculate the peg ratio, we take the PE ratio, which we calculated, which was 10, and you divide that by 52 and you get 0.19. This is a very low peg ratio, which means that it could be undervalued. Another important metric to understand is the dividend yield. So this is how much a company pays out in dividends each year compared to its stock price. To calculate this, you're gonna take the annual dividends per share and divide that by the share price. And this is gonna be expressed as a percentage. Let's say, for example, you have a company and the share price is, let's say, $10, right? If the dividend yield for that company is, let's say, 5